YouTuber builds working computer out of pasta. What's up friends and welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm the Pompadour Prince, Johnny Rogers. If you happen to be new to the channel, we find the most interesting news stories on the internet and then we make them more entertaining. Plus, don't forget to stick around to the end because I will be answering some of your comments from previous videos. Now, I love pasta as much as the next person, but this story is ridiculous. Actually, if you can't have gluten, you may just want to turn this whole video off. I mean, you can make pasta into basically anything. It's so many different ways. It's so versatile. But YouTuber Michael LaPlante stunned his viewers by using pasta to make a fully functional computer out of pasta. It actually started as a joke by LaPlante's wife who bantered with him about a PC made of pasta. This joke, however, inspired the YouTuber to do just that and create this tasty masterpiece. In a 25 minute video, you can see he created this working computer completely out of lasagna. The casing of the computer itself is just lasagna and rigatoni, for which he named the Lasagna PC version 1. It's also been reported that this may just be the first ever pasta PC in the entire world. Guys, we're making history here. To the shock of his viewers, when LaPlante actually started the PC pasta, it worked. It turned on and it was fully functional. There were moments of lag, I mean, he did use his former Asus Transformers tablet motherboard for the pasta computer, but nonetheless, it, it worked. LaPlante's YouTube page is called LaPlanet Arts, and it seems to be a place where he has typically uploaded tech reviews. However, ever since his wife joked about making a PC out of pasta, that has been his most viewed video on the channel. The description for the video brilliantly sums it up by saying, My wife said something one day joking about making a PC out of pasta. Never joke with me on such things because I may just do it. And do it I have. Behold, the lasagna PC V1. Clickbait, you say? Nay, this is the real deal. The first ever crazy PC build on this channel and the first ever pasta PC in the world. You're welcome. And we thank you, sir. We thank you indeed. This system of combining a favorite food item with technology seems to be the move for LaPlante. I wonder what will be next, perhaps a potato camera or a banana phone. Only time will tell. Now, I'm sure most of you are wondering how exactly the red pasta sauce in the computer isn't causing it to malfunction. Well, spoiler alert, that is actually hot glue meant to hold the lasagna pieces on and then painted red later to appear like some sort of computer tomato sauce. Incredibly, even cased in pasta, the computer was still able to play things on Hulu, download programs, and really any basic computer functions. Because of that older motherboard I mentioned earlier, it's a lot like running a PC that needs about 10 years of updates though, so that did slow the end result a bit. However, it almost makes it more believable. I mean, what else would we expect from a computer made of pasta? Although we most certainly applaud his efforts, building a PC alone is no easy task, so we look forward to whatever new food technology mixes this creative YouTuber can concoct. We want to hear your thoughts on this story though, so comment down below if you would eat or play on a PC made of pasta. Now let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Teen Who RKO'd Principal Arrested Again for RKOing a Fake Alligator. Potato says, next video, Teen in Florida tries to RKO a prison cell pillow. Seems like this will be what is in his near future for sure. Unless he tries to RKO his prison guard first, then you're not even getting a shot of the pillow for the title. Agent 47 says he has done what Randy Orton couldn't achieve, getting arrested by RKOing someone. I think you just wrote the new storyline for Randy Orton, I'd watch that. Donovan Griffin says, for anyone who doesn't know WWE, they must have thought he was just really stupid. For all of those who know the WWE though, I bet they saw him were just like, sick, that's sick. Twilight the Wolfie Horse 5 says, I have a new name for Johnny, Bacon Boss. No more food names. <laughs> I do like that one though, Bacon Boss. We're sticking with the Pompadour Prince. Man. Probably something says, hey, that's just Florida. As a Floridian, I can confirm. Finally, my views on Florida have been confirmed. I love you, Florida, but you crazy. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you want any more videos like this one, just click that playlist on the side of the screen. And as always, if you find any new stories that are kind of cool and exciting that you want us to check out, send us a DM to the Instagram page, at Inform Overload. If we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.